So when we've checked all our equipment to ensure that we've got the appropriate whip checks, pins, all the safety requirements are complying, complying. We follow our line through here and we also walk the line to ensure that we've got the twin lines are fine, everything's harnessed. Our breathing air lines here. We'll need earplugs. You may elect to use a spray hood inside the helmet, particularly if you sweat profusely. All it does is soak up the perspiration. But you can see the yellow breathing line here comes through to your blast helmet. So what I suggest is it's not something you leave laying around and just drag along with you, primarily because it's an important integral piece of equipment and you'll see on this it does have a little tag to hang it up. I suggest you hang it up. When not in use, hang it up. If you leave it on the ground, grit will eventually be blown inside it. It's something you put on your head, so it's something you need to keep clean. Now this Nova 3 helmet has an outer, it also has an inner, and it also has strippable lenses if you, or tear off lenses if you need them. So this particular inner lens is something that you, when you replace, you don't rub it with your hands, you leave the protective film on it and then remove it, as I'll show you in a second. But also too, to replace the lens, you only need to depress the rubber and pop the lens out. So an inner lens like so and there's the protective film on the inner lens. So you can see the lens only fits one, one way. It doesn't matter inside or outside but it does have a number here. The number means that this particular lens coincides with a standard and the standard is for accidental ricochet or something that may rebound when you're blasting to ensure that it cannot penetrate this inner and outer lens and hit you in the face or, or eye. So it's designed to do a specific job. So aftermarket lenses and so forth, just make sure that they do comply with Australian standards and they are appropriate for the unit that you're using. So in this particular case, because it's safety, I'd be more inclined to go with a manufacturer because you know their lenses are fit appropriately. Also too, they have a compliance number on them in relation to the safety requirement. So that's the inner lens. Then you have what we call the outer lens. Now that outer lens fits in the lugs on the inside 